Now, a lot of people have been writing to me about the Rwanda scheme just announced by the government uh, this week, and they've just published the Safety of Rwanda Asylum and Immigration uh, Bill. Now, look, this isn't an ideal way of dealing with illegal um, migration, I admit that, but doing nothing is not an option. So far this year, more than 28,000 people have come across the channel paying people smugglers to gain entry to the UK illegally and in the most dangerous way. And frankly, it's a miracle that more people have not lost their lives in the channel at the hands of these ruthless people smugglers. So we have got to clamp down on this. There is a problem, though, that for many people who do make it to the UK that way, even when they've had their asylum claims turned down, it's really difficult and in some cases impossible to return them to their home country. Countries like Iran and Eritrea just won't let them go off the plane or put them straight uh, in, uh, in jail and it becomes a problem. Now that is why the Rwanda scheme is not the be all and end all, but it's one important part of the jigsaw of different measures to deal with this illegal, illegal migration problem. So it will become a lottery for somebody coming across the channel as to whether they end up in a hotel or in Kent or on a plane to Rwanda. Now, why will that work? Well, when the Home Affairs Select Committee visited um, Calais earlier this year, we heard from the officials there that when the government announced the Rwanda scheme last year, there was a surge in some of the migrants at Calais approaching the French authorities about regularising their status in France itself because they didn't want to risk ending up in uh, Rwanda. So that's why we know this will work just as soon as the scheme gets going. So there were problems with the original scheme. The Supreme Court rejected it. The government therefore had to go away and rethink the scheme and that's what they have done. That's why there are lots more safeguards in the new Rwanda uh, treaty and we will be debating all these measures and making sure those safeguards have been adhered to in this new uh, legislation. At the end of the day, doing nothing is not an option. We have got to clamp down on the people smugglers. More of them are being intercepted, more of them are being prosecuted, but there are many more of them coming forward to make millions in that illegal uh, trade. But this is an important part of that jigsaw. We need this scheme uh, to work. That's why I'm supporting the scheme with all the safeguards, including the one about having safe and legal routes for genuine asylum seekers uh, who have a claim to come to the UK, often with families uh, already in the UK. That was the amendment I put in the Illegal Migration Bill earlier in the year. Those proposals are coming forward in the next uh, few months. So the package as a whole needs our support because doing nothing is not an option and that's why I'll be supporting these measures.